Special charm makes its way along. Goes up there, the lights are flashing. You'll hear the crash of the gates here as they race. They're off. First away, Prue, Thunderclap, Newman, Videlo, Blue had broken well. First growth and also Snitzer Tune kicking up underneath of that group, though, as they race to that first corner from Toned and Magical Charm, who's gone up in front of Lennon Song, settling down. Further back in the field, Kmark Extreme, Brothers Keeper, and the tail end of Black Attack. At Beckett's Gate, 1,800 left to go. They'd worked up the Matheson Road side of the track, and Prue trying to be held down in front, but wants to run. It's Prue by two lengths, Verdello Blue, Snitzer Tune third. Running fourth on the outside, Thunderclap Newman, a length and a half to first. Growth is beautifully placed outside, toned, and Prue's got them running hard. A length and a half away behind them, Magical Charm as they head up towards the back where Prue's gone further in front. Lennon Song fourth from last. Brothers Keepers on the rail, then Arctic Stream, and seeing them all is Black Attack. He'd be spotting the leader, the best part of 15, maybe even 20 lengths as they go out to the riverside of the track. Prue really has got them running hard in front. McNaught trying to just slow her up at the 1,000 metres mark. It's Prue leading by about 9 to 10 lengths here on Videlo Blue. They're being followed on the outside next of all by Snitzer Tune. A length and a half, Thunderclap Newman. Two lengths to first growth. Then toned down on the inside. Magical Charm heeled along. Lennon Song trails it. Brothers Keeper, Arctic Stream and three lengths to Black Attack but it's Prue in a race of its own. At the 700, Prue led by 8, Verdello Blue running third it's a tune. Thunderclap Newman pulls around its heels. Two lengths to first growth off the bridle. The same can be said. Magical charm. Brothers Keepers got up near the rail. This leader still 10 in front coming to the corner. Followed further back. Arctic Stream Black Attack and Tone is dropping right out but coming around the bend and McNaught's gone for the doctor coming around the corner and Prue straightened up with a massive lead. 2.50 to go. Can't it keep it going? It's Prue by three. Snits a tune. Down the outside Magical Charm and Lennon Song, the leader in front with the gauge reading empty. Magical Charm's got it. Snits a tune, but Magical Charm reaches the lead, running on Arctic Stream, getting up on the inside. Magical Charm. Magical Charm beats Arctic Stream. Brothers Keeper, Lennon Song, deeper out from last Black Attack. In behind them came Snits a tune. Well, Prue had run a mighty race there until the 100 mark and then ran out of gas. Followed further back by First Growth. A day back in the field, Thunderclap, Newman, Verdello Blue, and uh, toned trotting over the line is a long last. Did nothing but blow in the market, magical charm. The race run at a cracking tempo here, as was to be expected. Prue knows one way, led them for a long, long way into the straight. But Peter Hall there, getting the best out of the Savabile mare, magical charm, and proving too good for Arctic Stream. Brothers Keeper might be third home there as we wait for the official list of the details. It will, in actual fact, Lennon Song will be fourth. Magical Charm, it did concede that leader a massive head start. They all did, in actual fact. But Magical Charm, who uh, ran a couple of slashing races in the Autumn and the Oaks and the Derby third run in, makes it back to back here with a step to the 2,150. Might just strengthen up the chances to have red snits in the last of the day. For Peter's investments by Savva Beal from... Uh, Lucida, trained by Adam Durant, handled by Peter Hall, winning by three quarters of a length over Arctic Stream by High Chaparral from Royal Devotion, raced by Frank Josie Fiore, trained by Ross Price, ridden by Mitchell Pateman. And Brothers Keeper is third in a casino, Prince Happily Gelding for Tiana Robertson, Troy Turner there for Jim, Mrs. T. Anderson, L. Coleman, W. Ryan and Mrs. V. Knott. 2.15.20 there, the time. It's not far outside the recent track record of Mississippi Delta for the 21.50. 2.15.20, three quarters a short head with the margins. And uh, the uh, last 600, you're going to hear this right, 39.08, 39.08. And uh, Prue just uh, couldn't pick its legs up and was gobbled up by Magical Charm in what was a genuinely run, a real stayers race there in the fifth. And a good effort, Black Attack, too, from well off them. But those back markers, most running on. Race six, the Heineken three handicap, two and seven out. Tycoon legend, lucky Linda Lulu. And uh, in the next of the day, the riders are as published. Let's uh, head on down now to uh, Gareth, about to join us uh, in the yard. Bob Peters down there with him, set for a big day. The Cerise and White on Saturday. And also uh, filling in for the stable as well as uh, Jason Miller. But Gareth, down to you. Yeah, thanks for that, Mackie. And Bob joins us now. And Magical Charm, she 
Makes it two victories on the trot. Yes, she um, obviously uh, needs the distance. I've thought all along, once she gets past 2,000 metres, she shows us her best. And obviously, there was a lot of pace in this race with Prue, and she likes to get out and run along in front there for a sec. I thought maybe they're not going to catch her, but um, your particular mare did the job nicely, and Arctic Stream's a good horse that was coming hard in the end as well. Yes, it's good to see some pace on. We don't see that here very often, and uh, the young lady that rode it, if she would got away with it, she's a genius, and um, if she didn't, well, that was good for us. Were you were expecting a victory today, because I couldn't believe it when I had a look at the market. It was $7 late. No, somebody said they have got $7 somewhere, so um, I, I don't know how that came about. Bob, you've had a time to sleep on it. Um, you're happy with your horse's barry draws for the railway stakes on Saturday? Oh, yes, we had some good and some bad. Galaxy Star, more important. Barrier two. Um, I guess you don't want her to get her clouded up in amongst horses, but I guess it's better than out wide in 14 or um, 13 or somewhere out there. Yeah, we'll take that every day in front of them. Uh, we just have to watch that it's a little bit like a funnel, isn't it? The, the ones in, inside go forward and the ones from the outside come and uh, it can get a bit squashed there, but that's Will's problem and that's uh, why he's on her. Yep, and how's that Katie Aquinas? She put up okay from last week as we head towards the Guineas? Yeah, she's pulled up quite well, which surprised me because there's not a great deal of her, but she's done very well this week. And Peter Hall's enjoying Willie having a little bit of a break. Um, he's put those cerise and white colours on, which he's had success over the years, and he's riding a winner here for you today. Yes, he seems to come around this time of the year. He comes out of the mothballs and away he goes. He's a big time player, Bob. Um, thanks for your time, mate. Thank you. Just talking to Bob Peters there, Brittany and Hawley. He loves this time of the year and he loves wearing those colours and look out on Saturday. He might <laughs> steal a giddies here, Hawley. Oh, he'll be hoping so, Hawley. It's been good for you to have Pikey's suspension come at this time and always good to don these colours. A tearaway leader in that race. Could you even see the leader from where you were? Yeah, we could. And, um, you know, I had faith in my horse that we could still pick it up and win the race. But, yeah, look, it's not ideal because you have to hurt him a little bit earlier than what you want to. Uh, to put him into the race and obviously then you worry about the back markers. You had faith in the horse but at what stage did you begin to build that confidence within the race? Well, well honestly Brittany she gave me a great feel um, during the run but um, just about the 6500 when you really put the asset on him it wasn't until straightening that I felt like she had it in control. And she won it easy on, through the line? Good effort you know um, just stepping up to this distance you know use you like an easy victory and then they can come on so I think she done a really good job. Well done on the win. Thank you.